term heightened reality was thrown out there, but now that you've actually shot it, how would you describe it? It's We've not now rea oh. <laughs> It's not reality, so I don't like using heightened reality. It's a fully scripted show, and these are fictionalized characters yeah. that we've all come together and created individually. Mm -hmm. um, but they might have a little bit yeah. of truth weaved in there. Yeah. We've kind of, yeah. We, we wanted to mix it all up. in. <laughs> now, this is a limited series. Would you be down to keep it going if it's a huge success? For we, sure. we love working together. Yeah. And we had so much fun with the whole cast and just being back with people that you know and you like they're your brothers and sisters so to be able to work in that environment is a really great thing. Yeah. What's one piece of wisdom that you have now that you wish you could go back and tell yourself? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, to enjoy my waistline while I had it. <laughs> I had five babies in all you fairness. Thank you. No, I feel great. Your waist just, is the same size. Yeah, my waist. Yeah. truthful, yeah. Which is ridiculous. Who did you keep in touch with the most when you guys weren't shooting? The we all kept in touch. Absolutely, though we didn't have an on-air reunion, we all kept in touch. You know, when you work together with people for 10 years and you're at such a, a young, formative age, you kind of grow together as brother and sister. We bumped heads, we got along, there were high moments and there were low points, but through it all, we, we just came together, just made us stronger. Absolutely. So now, working together, it's just, I don't know, it's just like visiting with, with old friends. The term heightened reality has been thrown around how would you describe it now that you've shot it? I think more like assisted reality. Okay. Um, because, yeah, I'm pay I think more like assisted reality because I am playing Ian, yeah. Ian's earring, but not all of the situations are true. Okay. Some kind of dance around the truth, some are completely different, but what's nice is that it is my life to these sometimes extraordinary situations. As a super fan, did you feel pressure coming into this? Pressure? No. Um, because I'm like the, I'm the plus one. So I'm just along for the ride. Um, yeah, I never felt pressure. No one has ever given me pressure. One of the first phone calls I got was from Tori and it was the most, it was just the loveliest, most amazing. I'm like, this is, this is good. This feels right. And I'm just so grateful. I genuinely felt like I was walking into a new family, so. So when they've all been together, how does it feel coming into something like that? I'm trying to think of what I can say and not say. Um, my character, let's see, how do I put this? They're all very welcoming, so I'm trying not to give away the plot, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And there was never that feeling that I think you would think of like, oh, there's there's the girl that's playing Jason's wife. There was never that feeling. It's like, what's up? We're all here. We're all together on set or at cast, at catering at wardrobe, or it just, it was like a big family offset, and then everyone went into their scenes kind of thing. So growing up as a fan, did you always wish you could visit the Peach Pit? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm like, no offense. Can we, can we, can we, totally you know, so totally. I can, <laughs> I did. I wanted to visit the Peach Pit at those times with Jason behind the counter, but then I got to see Jason in real life, so it's all good. So it's 2019, Beverly Hills, 90210 is rebooted. Like, who did you stay in touch with the whole time you guys weren't shooting? Jason and I lived together for five years, so I stayed in touch with Jason certainly for those five years. And then it, uh, after, after that, Jason's wife is one of my best friends. Jason is family to me. I do my holidays, my Christmas and my Thanksgiving and New Year's Eve with, with the Priestley family. So they're the ones that are actually like literally my family, my extended family. What's one piece of wisdom you have now that you could wish you could tell yourself back then? Enjoy it more and take more pictures. Really? Take more pictures. I took no pictures and now we all have cameras with us all the time. So pictures are everywhere and no one did back then and I wish I, wish I had more pictures.